Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about common prefix and suffix used in medical terms. Let's move on to the topic. Let's see what is prefix and suffix. Prefix means a letter or group of letters added to the beginning of a word which makes a new word. Suffix means a letter or group of letters added to the end of a word which makes a new word. The first one is A which means absence or not or without. For instance, apnea, absence of breath while sleeping. Anuria, absence of urine. This is the very well-known term itis which means inflammation. For instance, gastritis, inflammation of the lining of stomach. Appendicitis, inflammation of the appendix. The third one is ectomy, which means surgical removal of something. For instance, gastrectomy, removal of the stomach. Appendectomy, removal of the appendix. The fourth one is otomy which means cutting or making an incision to a body part in order to create an opening. For instance, cystotomy, which means opening has been made in the urinary bladder. Craniotomy, which means surgical removal of a portion of the skull. The next one is ostomy, which means surgery to create an opening that is stoma from an area inside the body to the outside. For instance, colostomy, which means surgery that creates an opening for the colon or large intestine through the abdomen. Tracheostomy, an opening surgically created through the neck into the trachea. So the difference between otomy and ostomy is in otomy, they are creating an opening. In ostomy, it's created from an area inside the body to the outside. And it will be visible outside and that opening we will term it as stoma. The sixth one is scopy, which means visualization of inner body parts. It is a medical examination inside a particular part of the body usually using a small camera or similar device for instance bronchoscopy it is the procedure to look directly at the airways in the lungs using a thin lighter tube next one is endoscopy it is the procedure used to examine a person's digestive tract the seventh one is rhea which means flow or discharge. For instance, diarrhea, passage of three or more loose or liquid stools per day. Menorrhea, flow of blood from the uterus. The eighth one is rage, which means excessive bleeding. For instance, hemorrhage, bleeding, loss of blood from damaged blood vessels. Menorrhagia, which means heavy bleeding at menstruation. The next one is Rafi, which means surgical repair by using sutures. For instance, hernia Rafi, that means surgical repair of hernia using sutures. Myorafi, surgical suturing of a muscle wound. The tenth one is Plasti. Plasti means a surgical procedure for the repair, restoration or replacement as by a prosthesis of a part of the body. For instance, septoplasty, that is surgical procedure to straighten the septum. Cranioplasty, surgical repair of the bone defect in the skull resulting from a previous operation or injury. The next one is pexy. It is a surgical procedure in which a permanent or temporary adhesion is created between two structures. For instance, 
sigmoidal plexi is a surgical attachment of the sigmoid colon to the walls of the abdomen for relief of rectal prolapse gastropexy a gastropexy is a procedure in which the stomach is affixed to the abdominal wall the last one is syntesis which means a surgical procedure in which a cavity or structure is punctured in order to aspirate fluid or air for instance pericardial syntesis it is a procedure performed to remove pericardial fluid from the pericardial sac parasynthesis it is a procedure in which a needle is inserted into the peritoneal cavity to obtain acidic fluid thank you so much for watching this video i hope this would be helpful for you guys especially those who are working in hospital setup because whenever you are receiving a patient from a post operative ward you may come across these terms if you know the meaning of this prefix and suffix it would be helpful for your better understanding if you feel this is really helpful kindly like share this to our friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is jebin shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading new videos thank you all once again see you all again with one more interesting topic until then it's bye from jebin bye bye take care